Hi, this is a quick little video to explain the shooting method. So what we have here at the top is a differential equation that we want to solve for a certain boundary variable problem. So we want to know, uh, so we know what the function is at a boundary at 0 and one at 0 0.2. So two different boundaries. Now the problem with boundary variable problems is they're a bit um, hard to solve directly. Um, and so one way of doing it is instead to consider two initial value problems. We start, both of them start, um, same plot, so both start at zero, um, and then we want to see where they lend up. So what we need to do is we pick two different starting speeds. So um, I've arbitrarily picked um, a slope of zero and a slope of minus two. Thinking one of them zero makes it a bit easier, um, marginally to consider it, for example. So we've got two different uh, initial value problems, and we solve them. And what we're going to do is they sort of fire in two different directions and see um, where they hit, what values they hit at 0 0.2. And so I'm um, unit for different ways. So in the in previous video, I demonstrated how to do this finish value, value problem one using a an explicit finding difference method. Um, you can do it for a bunch cut it lots of different ways. So here's the um, answers accurate to four decimal places. So a bit more accurate than the examples in the calculations in the previous um, video, but these they are accurate to four decimal places. Now, knowing these two different shots, so long as the boundary conditions and the equation are all linear, like they are in this, um, or are all, I should say, affine, um, then just using those two shots we can then work out what, um, what the answer is. And um, so affine happens if, if they're if they're all zero, then that being a linear problem makes it easier. But if there's some of them are constants, it becomes our fun. So let's sort of show you how to do that. So what we'll do that is, um, so let you know, y1 solve initial value problem one, uh, y2 with the second one, and y3 being what we're usually trying to find out. That's what we want to do. So y3 is the solution for the boundary variable problem, and that's really what we want to do. Uh, now. If you're going to do it all numerically, then all we really need to know is what we we just need to know what the derivative at zero is for the value variable problem. So um, y dash y three dash at zero, and then numerically we can work out all the values in between. So because um, we've got two solutions, then we can basically take a linear combination of the two solutions we know about should generate another solution. And since it's linear, um, that captures lots of the solutions for you. So it works nicely for linear stuff. Um, so now we've got this. Uh, let's just um, have a look to do it. So, firstly, we know we've got all of the, all three have an initial condition. So if you sub in zero into each of these things, then we have various stuff we know. So it's sub zero in all of these conditions. Now we know that all of them are equal to minus a quarter at zero. So you divide by minus a quarter, you get one is equal to a plus b, alpha plus beta, and so beta you might as well just write down as one minus alpha then. And so y3 is alpha y1 plus 1 minus alpha um, y2. So this is a, an affine or a convex combination um, of y1 and y2. And again, that happens very naturally in these sort of circumstances. So you could jump this almost straight away in many of these circumstances. So now we have this. Now what we want to know? Well, ultimately, um, we want to know, we want to use things we have three bits of motion for. So we have information at y equals 0.2 for all three of them. One we know from the initial, from the boundary value. The other two we've worked out. And so we're going to use that to do things. So we're going to plug in 0 0.2 into each of these three different cases. Now just copying values from four, so we know that 
uh, we want zero ultimately is equal to alpha times by minus 0 0.1094 just copying from above plus or minus alpha of minus 0 0.3654 now what we want to do is, well first let's work at alpha, let's work at alpha, we know the linear combination and then you can use that to work at any value you want to at all really. So um, we can see if you rearrange the equation we get um, 0 minus this value here all over um, this value minus the same one again. So just quickly rearrange the equation pretty much and then again you can suck that in your calculator and I think to four decimal places you get something like that. Uh, now there might be some rounding or so, so four sitting in fingers I should say. Um, you can get some, there might be some rounding issues here um, but that's pretty close. So just get the overall feel for it. So um, by the way to avoid rounding errors you should use for these intermediate values here, as much accuracy as you possibly can manage, of course. And again, since we're dividing by the difference, it's useful to set the problem so that those two values aren't right on top of each other. There's a bit of a difference between them. Now you've got alpha. We can then write down what y3 is. So y3 is then alpha times four y1 plus one minus alpha, so minus 0.427 times by y2 for example. And so we can do things like um, let's work out what the derivative is at zero. And once we know that we can use the like runge cutter to work out anything once at all. So that's 1.427 times by y dash at zero minus 0.427 y2 dash at zero. Um, that was zero. and this was minus 2, again just copying from above and so um, we get the answer of minus 8, 5, um, 4 so um, three, 3 decimal places and again so once we have that we have everything we want to, so just copying from above to above what did you say, so 0 0.854 is the value just went down given these two initial conditions we're going to look at all intermediate values and so essentially we've solved the boundary value problem um, numerically um, and if you happen to know the solutions for these ones exactly you could combine all the solutions in exactly the same way that's all nice and that is an example of um, how the shooting method works um, for a linear problem I hope that helps